So I wanted to share with you tonight how you can maximize the benefits in Credit Mojo to maximize your credit score. So I want to share with you Credit Mojo and what you can do. So this is Credit Mojo. You log in. The first screen you see is your scores. This is the client. All the information, the personal information is covered. So don't worry if this is you. It's all covered up. And you can see their credit score here is a 553. What does that mean? That means there's a 55.3% chance that if a bank loaned you money, if this was your credit score, if the banks loaned you money, there's a 55.3% chance that you would pay your bills on time. Doesn't mean you're a bad person. Doesn't mean you're not going to pay your bills eventually. It just means that you might be late. And that's all your credit score means. Banks want to loan money to people that have at least a 740 or 74% chance of paying them back or at least paying on time. This box under here, that plus 90, that represents how many points can be obtained by removing negative payment history from the credit report. So this plus 90 is if you removed all of the, ne the negative payments, the late payments, the charge-offs, the collections, the inquiries, the short sales, the foreclosures, the repossessions, if you remove all of that, you would gain 90 points. 109 right now, this person get 109 points like that if they would do one simple thing. And then if you look right here, they're losing another 59 points because of something else they're doing. Credit Mojo will show you how to get those points. So what I want you to do after this call is I want you to log into Credit Mojo. I want you to look at this and I want you to go right here where it says scores. And I want you to click on score boost. Now, if for some reason you log in and it doesn't look like this with scores, reports, money manager across the top, and yet it, instead it looks like that, all I'm doing is I'm making my screen bigger. So this is what it'll look like on a laptop or a cell phone where you have these three little lines over here and it's right there. Whereas if your screen is bigger, your display, those lines show up here, but you can see not all of them. So what I want you to do is I want you to click on scores, go down here to score boost. Click on that, it's gonna load the score boost. And as of right now, it's a 553. So I'm gonna move this over to move me. See where it says move me right here? If this person went and spent more money on their credit cards, let's say they spent 366 bucks, not a lot, it's not a lot. Their credit score would go down one point. What if they spelt, spent $1,300, it goes down. And as they spend money, primarily on credit cards, if they went and maxed out every single credit card, so they got about 95,000, see how I go all the way over here? That would mean that they got a bunch of bad credit, charge offs, collections. But if I go to right here, where the 95,000 stops, they have a, approximately $95,638 of available credit on their credit cards. Right now, if we go back, so if they maxed out the rest of their credit cards, look at that, they dropped down to 494. Now here's something you need to know. So there's bad credit and then there's poor credit scores. Bad credit is late payments, charge offs, collections. Poor credit is just a poor credit score. So you can have a poor credit score and not necessarily have bad credit. There's no late payments on this on this credit report, none. There's no charge offs, there's no short sales, it's just inquiries and maxed out credit cards. No bankruptcy, no short sale, no foreclosure, no repo, no late, pay, nothing. It's inquiries and maxed out credit cards. So if he went, this person, went and maxed out every single one of the rest of his credit cards, he'd be a 494. But what happens if this person pays off his credit cards? So let's go back to the center. This is where he's at right now. If he went and started paying down his credit cards, look how his score increases. And as he pays off the credit cards, it goes up and up and up until he maxes out at 205, nope, 29. That's it. He owes $210,000, 212. That's how much this person owes on credit cards. So if he paid off all of his credit, his credit cards rather, he'd gain 109 points. Here's a new feature that we have in Credit Mojo. You know how in Fortress University, 
that I teach that you need to pay your credit cards off by the statement date. And you just don't know. It's hard to figure out what the statement date is, when you should pay it, et cetera. Now Credit Mojo is going to tell you when that statement date is. So now all you got to do is log in to Credit Mojo, click on Score Boost, scroll down, and it'll tell you exactly when to pay off that credit card. So let me show you. So for example, this is a Capital One credit card right here. If you wanted to get 15 points in the next five days, you would need to pay off this, you need to pay $28,000 on this credit card by the 19th. The score will update on October 23rd. Today's October 17th, but you need to pay it off by the 19th because that's, you have it paid off, so it clears. So then on the 23rd, it updates. So if you want to get 19 points in the next 15 days, you have this credit card paid off. So it updates on November 2nd. You can go down through this in order of importance. Why this matters is let's say that you only have a certain amount of money that you can apply towards credit cards. You can go in here and say, which one of these is going to give me the most amount of points? Look at this Barclays. If you paid $138 on this Barclays account, credit score is going to go down by one point. Why? Because then the credit card's completely paid off. So you would never want to pay it off completely. Instead, you'd want to take that $138 and put on this credit card. But look, even if you paid this credit card off, it only gives you three points. Whereas if you pay this one, you get seven points. Now, you can also go to best pay down. This is going to put them in order of importance. Capital One's the most important card if you want your score to increase in the next two days. So a lot of times people call us and say, hey, how do I, um, what's the best way to increase my credit score? How long is it going to take? Well, you can now log in to Credit Mojo and it'll tell you. Credit Mojo updates daily, but the credit card updates once a month. So if you wanted to gain 15 points, you would pay this credit card by $28,000. By the 19th, it'll update on the 23rd. And so you would pay these cards off first. So that way on November 1st, you have a higher credit score. Now, if you click this button here, hopefully you see it. It's right here. Sorted by most achievable points. So if you want the most amount of points, you need to pay off this credit card. If you want to do sorted by the fastest, you would pay off this credit card. Now I'm saying pay off and it's not pay off because this credit limit, this credit card right here, is a $40,000 credit limit. So you're not paying off the credit card, you're paying it down by $28,000. So by using this tool, if you have, say you have $10,000 or 3,000, let's just go $3,000. You have $3,000, you gotta decide what you're gonna do with that $3,000. You can go in here, literally sort it by the fastest achievable points, or you can sort it by most achievable points. And then this is based on the algorithm behind the scenes. And so you can go in here and sort stuff and you can figure out how you can increase your credit score the fastest way possible. And just know that if you pay off the credit card in full, it might lower your credit score. As in this case, if you pay 138. Now why? Because he only owes $138 on his credit card. So if you pay it off in full, it's going to lower your points. So you don't want to pay it off in full. You just want to do what it says. And then these credit cards, see how these don't meet the criteria? because they're all paid off. Every single one of these credit cards are paid off. That's why they don't meet any criteria. But if this person would go in and put 20, 30 bucks on this credit card, 100 bucks on this one, 100 bucks on that one, 100 bucks on, if they would use these credit cards, scores would go up. So again, the credit score right now is a 553, which is a 55.3% chance they'll pay your bill. They, this person will pay his bills on time over the next two years. See, the, the auto score is lower. See, this is a credit score, an auto score, an insurance score, and a hiring risk score. Why is it lower? Could be many reasons. I think the main reason on this person, the reason the auto score is lower, because he recently bought a vehicle, and he hasn't owned that vehicle for at least two years, and 90% of all late payments happen within the first two years of an account being open, and because it's been less than two years, he has a lower auto score. Now, once that hits two years, that score will skyrocket.
This is what the car dealerships see. So if you pull your credit and you're like, hey, I got an 850, I got a repo on my credit, or I got a late payment on my credit, car payment, or I don't have any car loans, that car, the auto score could be much lower. The insurance score. Your credit score impacts how much you pay for car insurance. I've been saying this for years, and some people will argue with me and say that doesn't make sense, but it does. And the reason why that your car and your insurance score is lower based on your credit score is because people that have bad credit that have financial problems, because that's generally why you have bad credit, because you had some type of financial problem at some point, they're less likely to pay their bills on time, which includes insurance. So the lower your credit score goes, the higher your insurance premium goes. Car insurance, life insurance, health insurance, renter's insurance, mortgage insurance, your homeowner's insurance, all of your insurance, how much you pay is a direct result of your credit score. Now, if you have a bad driving record and bad credit, it's going to be even higher. And in many times, you can have a speeding ticket or two and still pay less for car insurance than someone with no speeding tickets but just has bad credit. Why? Because they're less, they're more likely or less likely to pay their bills on time, but they're more likely to miss a payment. And they're also more likely to commit insurance fraud. I'm not saying that people with bad credit are bad people. I'm saying that people with bad credit are more likely to commit fraud and they're more likely to miss a payment. And so insurance companies, they're bean counters. They're the best bean counters out there. And so they figured it out. If someone's got bad credit, let's charge them more for insurance because the likelihood of them paying late is pretty high. Then we have this employment score. This person, if he went and applied for a job and the employer pulled their credit, they might not get the job. Because according to their credit score, he's an F rating, which is the lowest rating you can have. He could be the best employee, the most loyal employee, never miss a day at work, always there to help. But because of their credit score, their hiring risk index is an F. So if you have two people applying for the same job, you have Johnny and Sam. Johnny they both have the same amount of history, both have the same experience, both same age, same everything. But Johnny has an A rating for the hiring score and Sam has an F rating. And you as the employer have to pick between the two. Which one are you going to pick? You're going to pick the A or the F. Most likely you're going to pick the A. So if you have bad credit, it could prevent you from getting a job. And the hiring risk score has nothing to do with the score. Because it's illegal for an employer to choose someone or deny someone employment based on their score. But this doesn't say a score. This says an F. And the F comes in because of all the rest of the stuff going on with the scores. Now, if you scroll down a little bit further, you can see this person's been in Credit Mojo since 2018. They started out with a 765. And then they dropped to 573. That's 100 points, nearly 100 points. Why? Max out the credit cards. And then he kept maxing out the credit cards, dropped to 550. From 765 to 550, 200 point drop. No late payments, no collections, no charge offs. All they had inquiries and maxed out credit cards. 550, 200 point drop. Then look at that. Paid off the credit cards. Back up in the 750s, maxed off the credit cards, went flat. Paid off the credit cards, maxed off the maxed off the credit cards, paid them off, flat, 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 back down, and now back down in 7, 517. Started at 765. Five years later, 517. Why? Credit cards. It's the most important thing on your credit. And you can kind of see it here. Here's all the difference in the scores. So that's under score tracker. The next thing I want to show you is Money Manager. If you go up here and you click Money Manager, Credit Mojo allows you to sync all your credit cards, 
all of your car loans, your mortgage, your checking account, your savings account, your assets, your retirement accounts. You can sync all of it together. So you can go into one place. You can pay your bills there. You can see your net worth. You can see your spending. You can click on here, your cash. And this person hasn't set it up. As you can see, they have 23 accounts they can set up. They're not using it. Plus, it's new. The reason I'm doing this is I'm hoping that all of you will log in and start using it. This is free. It's there for you. It says your spending habits, your assets, your debts, your net worth. All of your accounts, your checking account, your investment accounts, your others. You can add it. Let's say you have a, a crypto account. You have a savings account outside of, you have a 401k or an old IRA. You can add all this in here and you can have all of your finances in one place. And then it'll give you your net worth. And then lastly, we have alerts and insurance. Did you know you get $1 million of identity theft or fraud insurance for you and everyone who lives in your household? All of you get a million dollars of identity theft fraud insurance to where if you are a victim of identity theft, you call this phone number right here and you can file your claim and they'll fix your identity. They stop all the fraud. They freeze everything. They fix everything. Pretty cool, isn't it? So you get the score tracker. You get the score builder, the score boost, you get the money manager and the insurance, and you get credit monitoring all for the flat fee of what you're paying right now. So that's just an overview of Credit Mojo and some of the new things that we've done. And I wanted you to see that because a lot of people don't know this is all in here. Most of this is new, but I wanted to share that with you.